There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. It's Mr. Warmack as usual. I'm giving you another video, and oh, I, f I forgot to say lately that, you know, I'm in the building, so don't get it twisted. Now, today I'm going to talk about why I really don't get caught up in going video for video as far as arguments. You know, I don't want to waste my time and read money doing that if it's not productive for me and it's not productive for my viewing audience. You know, I'm going to tell you why uh, other parties usually don't, plus, let me, the other parties usually don't use reason and logic. Like, I'll go toe for toe if on a subject that I feel passionate about, but I won't go toe for toe with an idiot. Like, I go toe for toe with somebody who has critical thinking. Most of the time, I, I, I just wipe you out in the comments, so I don't need to do video for video. But there's some people that want to make their little videos and say, well, one person had the nerve to say, he uses complex words to impress the listeners. Like, really? A simulation is not a complex word. Digress is not a complex word. Just because your vocabulary is indicative of a sixth grader doesn't mean that I'm using complex words. If you don't understand it, here's what you do, bright guy or bright girl. I'll call you bright girl. Get your little Webster's Dictionary. Slow down the words I'm saying. Write them down and look inside your Webster's Dictionary. You know, because most of the time I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these people. I'm like, I don't want to waste my time because, let me let me tell you folks, a lot of these people are nobodies. They want to act like they're coming on here and telling you something like you already know. And that they're just nobodies, you know. And that's why I don't want to, I'm not going to go video for video. If you can't, if you can't get with me in the comments section, it's, it's like, why should I waste my time with a video? It's like, if, if I'm burnt, if I'm torching you in the comments section, the video is going to be worse. And I just like, it ain't, it's not worth my time, my effort, my money. It's not worth all that. You know, I won't waste it, you know. And this one guy goes, what do you say? What's, what's, what's this one guy who acts like a female? He goes, well, I want to go video for video. I'm not doing it with you. I refuse to waste my time. And I read again, I refuse to waste my money because this is costing me. I do these videos for my fun, but if I'm going to go toe to toe with you, you got to give me something more than this you arguing with me. You gotta make it worth my time and my money. Like if you gonna kick up some funds, then I have no problem wiping you out video. But it's more to my advantage just to kill you in the comment section than to like spend unproductive hours making the video, editing the video, uploading it to YouTube. It's uh, to me, it's unproductive going toe to toe with an idiot. Like, if somebody I feel wants to get at me, you can, but, like, I'm not going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. And understand how the YouTube thing works. Some of you on YouTube are trying to get your come up. So you think, well, I'll just put his name in the in the, in the the title, and maybe he'll come at me. I'm not going to go at you. Because, like, here's my problem. If I come at you, I'm coming at you with one purpose. And that one purpose is going to be just to get rid of your channel. I'm going to eliminate your channel. I'm going to make it so bad if I did a video on you that you will stop making videos, you will switch your channel and make it something else. I've done it before. And I've had these fucking clowns, the say, there were people that like came at me, have on my one account. The truth is, you know that some of y'all may know that channel. This one retard, excuse, my, excuse me for using dropping the R bomb, this one dude, and he's, he's a face he's feminine too, so I, I should have expected this. He would, he would, you know, we got into it before, and I thought it was done. Well, he would use alternate accounts, sock puppets, ghost accounts, whatever you want to say. And then come at me with little, little, little biting comments. Now, this dude is like, you know that chihuahua that nips at your heels? And you're like, it, it's not, doesn't hurt, it's just annoying. Well, he, I just told him, man, look, do you and I'll do me. Well, he uses other sock puppets. And I gave him the last warning was, well, if you, if you don't quit using your puppets, I'm coming after the channel. So what I did is, I used my Truth As You Know channel. That was my that was my banger channel. Well, I got him. And he, he tried to say that all his channels got deleted because he got reported. No, it wasn't. He, his channel got deleted one time because he was he was on some death threat shit. Now, mind you, I had no problem playing that game. If you want to go that route, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy. I got my big boy pants on today. I had no problem going down that route. But what he was doing was, he was he was fighting multiple people, and this is the type of people I t person I tell you guys to watch out for. He was fighting me, and he was also banging with other people, and he was he was saying the same thing. 
and he was threatening people. He was and like, like I never told him to do because I don't. That's not how I roll. I was just beating him. I was beating him down because I wanted to beat him the fuck down. It was so bad he quit making videos on his one count on me. He stopped. But I mean, he slowly did videos, and I just, I just let him go because I'm like, do you? If you gotta put my name in your mouth, then you're just another female, and I appreciate that. But like I said, I'm not gonna waste my time, my effort, going video for video with idiots. If you come at me with some critical thinking, and you come at me with some logic, I can get with that. I can understand that. But a lot of you guys come at me with salty feelings like, like your butt hurt. Like you're like, you, you come at me like you're a woman who I refuse, who I turn down. You come with that feeling, and that's the problem nowadays. A lot of you grown men on YouTube take this personally. You know, it's 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 you use the blame game. Well, you don't know me. I don't have to know you. I know guys like you. I can I can detect your personality. A lot of you guys aren't built for this type of stuff. If you take what somebody says on you on YouTube personally, as far as debating what you're saying, you got pro you got bigger problems than somebody debating you on YouTube. You got problems that will stem back to your childhood. And a lot of you guys, and that's what it is. You know, a lot of you want to suffer the blame game. You want to, you want, you want to stay a victim the rest of your lives, and then you want to talk all hard body. I'm like, hold up, man, you're a victim. How are you gonna get all hard now, and then you gonna curl up in a little ball like an armadillo, and whenever it suits you? If you want to talk tough, talk tough the whole way through. Like I, I every one of my videos, if you look at, it, I may go at stuff, but I try to give you a solution to help answer this stuff. A lot of you guys won't do that. You know, and I'm doing it for free. Well, technically I'm giving it to you for free, but I'm kind of making something on the back end, but I digress. You know, if you want to stay a victim, that's fine with me. But don't come over here and blame me for dumb shit that's happening that could be avoided down the road. And I don't, I don't get on, I don't, I don't get in a lot, like talk about all racial stuff sometimes. I talk about stuff that matters to me. Other people that are in my situation, it don't matter what color you are, it, it, it affects everything. That's why a lot of people gotta stick on race baiting, they gotta stick on, you know, social baiting, they gotta stick on stuff like that. I talk about whatever I wanna talk about because I'm diverse like that. Don't hate me, hate the game. You know, leaders encourage other people to wanna lead. And if you're not encouraging other people to take up, take a stand and take a, get a voice, what are you doing? You're just, you're just talking when? Like with me, I give you, I give you the tools to make you successful. And I don't, I'm not making a dime because you're successful. That's because that's the way we were taught when we were coming up. We were taught helping, like, reach one, teach one. You know what I mean? It, it, it's it, that, That's the principle that's been lost. Because, like, I was taught this stuff. I can easily write a book right now. I, I can go write an e-magazine, an e-book. I can sell a lot of this stuff. But at the end of the proverbial day, I'm trying to get you to get off your ass to make something of yourself. Because a lot of you people, and you see this on Facebook especially, by the way, follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and go to Google Plus. I'm, I'm, I'm about to rotate more on Google Plus and Facebook because to me, Facebook's kind of getting like it's a lot of people who talk about they're doing stuff, but they ain't doing stuff. Google Plus is more for people who are like trying or passionate about certain crafts and stuff. But like on Facebook, you have all these models and all these rappers. They ain't doing shit. Look, if you're taking a million pictures, what's the sense? And unless you're a model, like, like if I, I'm single, by the way, ladies, but you already know that because the field's big. But uh, if I had a chick, and she's taking a million pictures on Facebook, trust me when I say this, she's taking a million pictures on Facebook because she's getting something on the back end. Let me see. <laughs> well, I was reading into that one. But she's getting something on the back end. She's getting a check cut. She's not taking a million pictures. Just to take a million pictures, because that's to me that to me and to other people that's corny. What are you doing that for? You so what? So what are you taking a picture of yourself? Or you so what you think good? You want to do is to gas you up, but you still broke and don't, it don't fix your condition. Take the pictures to get money from it. And you dudes, man, a lot of you dudes are waiting for Def Jam to call you about your rap career. It's over. Well, get a job. You know what I mean? It's just it's just the victimhood of. Or a lot of you don't want to work here because we're not here. Well, my rap career is about to take off. Motherfucker, that hasn't took off in fucking 15 years. All of a sudden, now you're going to be a fucking American Idol? Be realistic. Or or you got these chicks. I'm going to be a model. Well, you know what? Don't talk about it. Just because you got two guys give you a like on Facebook. 
Get out there in the real world where you have to hear real shit. And you have to get dis be disappointed because your dreams have been crushed. Don't get on Facebook and get all these dudes, get your little pluses and likes and all that. Because look, man, I see pretty, pretty women, beautiful women. Every, you think I'm exaggerating. I see these chicks every day. I'm not impressed because you wear a bikini or two-piece on Facebook. It doesn't impress me. I chase checks, not chicks. So, at the end of the proverbial day, I will not debate idiots, and I will try to give people reasons to get off their ass and be something and be productive in life instead of blaming somebody for the condition they're in. So, if you don't like that, what the fuck you don't watch my video. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.